境不仅仅代表了目的地本身，还包括了旅途上的一景一物、点点滴滴。一起走进古城，一探世界新七大奇迹之一。骑着驴上山，在这里跟野生动物一起同游，看大象。这里的人用动感与如诗如画的绝美风景互动。跟着当地人的欢呼，领略这里的足球精神。这里是杀人湖，也是捕鱼的好去处。跟着我们的步伐，一起走一趟极尽之旅。飞行了十四个钟头，我们现在到达哥本哈根机场，准备转机。还需要飞多两个钟头，就会到达这次极尽之旅的目的地。我们要去的地方被称为世界的尽头，是不是很神秘？在北大西洋海域中，在冰岛和挪威之间，屹立着十八个神秘的火山岩岛屿，大家称这里为法罗群岛。群岛是远在一千三百六十公里外丹麦的领土，官方用语却是自家的法罗语。独特的维京式建筑风格，难得一见的北极飞禽，加上严峻气候雕塑出的壮阔景色，对旅游爱好者来说，这里是一辈子一定要去一次的地方。然而，这里并不是一年四季都适合旅游，甚至对毗邻北欧城市的人来说，群岛的位置还是过于偏僻，不是度假首选。到达山顶了。也许就是这样的遥不可及和孤傲，让群岛更添一种神秘的吸引力。三趟飞机之后，终于抵达了法罗群岛，但是来到这个世界上。最美的群岛，有一点点出师不利。一来就下雨。其实，这里一年三百六十五天，它两百六十天都在下雨。好冷啊！法罗群岛常年大风大雨天气，一年里的晴朗天有时不到六十天，也不能说出师不利，只能说这是家常便饭罢了。变幻莫测的热带海洋性气候，让灿烂千阳可以瞬间转为山间迷雾，甚至大雨倾盆。我们来到托尔斯港，也是法罗群岛的首都。据说这里是整个法罗人口最密集的地方，有超过两万个人在这里居住。但是让我意外的是。在路上行走的，用一只手都数得完。法罗群岛总人口约五万人，其中首都托尔斯港是群岛的交通枢纽及中心，超过一半的岛民在这里生活。每年夏天是欧洲的游人接踵而至托尔斯港最为热闹的季节，但是城市却异常宁静，许多商店仍旧六点就准时结束营业。原来这是因为法罗人对宁静生活步调有着自己的坚持。有奢华旅游杂志更形容法罗群岛为世界上仅剩没有被噪音污染的地方。Ellen, is that you? Hi, welcome to Tower Show. Nice to meet you. My name is Ellen. 托尔斯港齐聚了不少珍贵的十五世纪老建筑。不过，资深导游 Allen 要带孙正去看一个最原始的，就在法罗群岛国会厅前最显眼的玄武岩海角上。This place is a, the place where the Vikings used to have a parliament. It's called t i n g a n e s 最早发现法罗群岛的三位维京首领。
当年就定期在这个海角上聚集。据说法罗群岛的建成计划也在此诞生。据说在第九世纪，各路的维京人就会聚在这个石头上面，然后开他们的家族大会。然后久而久之，因为越来越多人聚在这里嘛，才延伸发展成我们现在看到的托尔斯港。So are you a Viking? In a way, we have a public database where you can see who you are related to. I think mine goes back to 1100 and something. It's amazing. I'm related to yeah the first man who came here. 数百年来，法罗群岛一直是挪威的一部分，直到1814年被纳入丹麦王国。虽为丹麦的直辖郡县，法罗群岛自1948年就拥有自主权，有属于自己的语言、国会和国旗。Wow, so everybody has access to the Prime Minister. Yeah, everybody can get an appointment, but you can also go into supermarket and then you meet him there and tell him your opinion. Why is this building black? It looks like the wood has been burned. Yeah, no, it's because we used to tar for, for colouring the houses. Also for, for, for keeping the wood, yeah. But this is one of, we only have two houses with so much wood because we only use driftwood for building houses. I originally thought that the dark area was burned, but it was actually in the stone on the floor. For hundreds of years, this can't be burned. It's likely that there is a stone on the floor to protect the stone. The stone is a valuable piece of wood. You must be able to import it from Mexico and Siberia. Because in the dark climate, the stone can never be naturally grown. 尽管没有土生土长的树木，法罗群岛却不乏绿意。我觉得来到法罗群岛非常奇特的一个景观，就是这些用草皮搭建的屋顶，就仿佛自己走进一个童话故事一般。That is for insulation and also keeping the house heavy so that it doesn't fly away. And underneath there's birch bark from the from the trees so that it doesn't get wet underneath. 果然是古人智慧。法罗群岛常年刮着强烈的西风，屋顶如果没有一定的重量，很可能被刮走。时至今日，草皮屋顶是法罗群岛的一大独有标志，而法罗人仍旧忘不了祖先留下的传统，在不少新的建筑物上还保留草坪屋顶的设计。毕竟这些房子到现在还是有人住。所以每一个每一每一栋房都会有自己的特色。法罗群岛在古北欧语中指的是“羊之岛”，而这里的羊就有八万多只，的确比人口多了一点五倍。法罗羊能在酷寒中生存，因为羊毛里有厚实的脂醇。用这样既防水又保温的纤维编织成的羊毛衫，世世代代在法罗群岛流传。除了实用，在设计上还保存了这里不同家族的徽章，是法罗人非常自豪的一项文化遗产。哎，等一下，请。哎，小天呀，古人的古人。啊 ，she is here. The designer is here. Oh, hello. Hello, nice to meet you. My name is Aiden. 古人。古人 Ludwig 被誉为法罗群岛国宝级服装设计师。二十年前，他和好友创立了自己的服饰品牌，将法罗羊毛以及最古老的编织法融入时装设计中，让原本很家常的法罗羊毛衫登上国际时尚舞台。I always found the seamless sweater from the old time very masculine.、Uh, my first thought was I'm going to take scrap、uh, all the. To make it more feminine. So change the silhouette. Yeah. It's also take all techniques and uh, highlight them to, uh, and also combine it with other、uh, material to find the balance between the softness and the dryness. Gurun 提倡环保，并重视地球资源的永续性及公平分配。为了提升妇女的经济地位，品牌也在秘鲁和约旦设立编织工坊，训练当地妇女手工编织羊毛衫。This from the new collection. This is the back where I put some. This is very sexy. Yeah. 
with uh, crochet some detail with milk yarn. It's a new kind of yarn. It's milk from yarn. leftovers in milk. 我手上这个裙子真的是一个艺术品，这些看到的丝丝其实是一个一个这样缝上去的。Gordon当初看到农人销毁卖不出去的羊毛，不忍心之下为羊毛另寻出路，却不自觉中让创意能够旧瓶装
，让我觉得最梦幻的一刻是，突然间就有一个海鹰，它就向着我跑，我就想，哎，不怕生人吗？但其实我站的地方前面可能一米距离吧，就是它的巢穴，所以这个是非常的梦幻。哇，这里有一只。I see so many people getting really close to the cliffside, but yeah. how do you know where the nests are? Are we accidentally stepping on them? Well, we're not when we're here, but it's very hard for them to see. Uh, I see it because I've been here so many years. So actually right over there, right here, there's a nest. And if you have a look, you see it's a bit white in there. That means that somebody's living there. So you look at the inside, if there's a white water, that means that there's a white water, that means that there's a white water. 现在这个鸟巢是有鸟居住的，而且你不可以把手伸进去，因为海鹰回来的时候，它就知道，哎，这个鸟巢不安全了，所以有五十八千的几率它会抛弃这个鸟巢。前面就是他们的鸟巢，所以这边有一条用石头做的线，不能够越过去。因为海鹰都在地底挖洞产卵，导游会确保游客跟随指定路线，而非随意乱走，破坏海鹰巢穴，或不小心践踏刚产下的海鹰卵。哎，看我们的导游在发飙了。Don't go up there, no. It's nesting area. That's why the sign is there. 哇，我们的导游好，好凶啊！其实，除了保护海鹰，因为这里的山崖十分险峻，奥达的苦口婆心也是为了确保游人们的安全。You do take care of them as if they were your children. Yeah, I actually when I, I sometimes guide people and I say, "But you're talking about the coffins like I talk about my children." <laughs> They're probably gonna call me the crazy bird woman, but I don't mind. I really care about protecting these birds, yeah. protecting this island. It should be a national park. Really. 米基内斯岛上的村庄已有将近两百年历史，四十栋房子当中，只有六栋有人长期居住，大部分房子是供夏天到岛上游玩的旅客租用的。I'm really excited to check out your house. What's the history behind it? Well, historically, it was the first guest house on the island from the 50s to the 90s, and I've kind of reopened it. Come on in. Yeah, watch your head. So this is uh, like great grandma's house. Everybody says. Oda's house in the summertime also welcomes tourists. He provides housing, dining, and tourist services. I want people to feel like they're visiting a friend or a relative, and they get that feel. Just feel at home, come and go as you please, and it's very nice. These photos are all... That's the family who answers from this house. So I found them at the owner's house, and it's every tiny thing I found in a different spot all around the pharos. And a lot of this is from my great-grandmother, like the lamp, the tables, and my father made the picture on the wall also. It's an experience that you wouldn't get anywhere else. You're immersed in a lot of tradition, but beyond that, it's about how free spirited the people that live here are. Yeah, I think that that changes perspectives, even in a night. Oda, he actually made me really proud. He came here and chose a new mission, which is to be the protector of the islands. Every time you can see these animals in the natural environment free to move, and you can see the opportunity to watch them in the distance, it is impossible. This is definitely the most important thing to remember. From the surface, the main source of the Falo Tree has disappeared, but in recent years, it has been found in a sport competition. 这里是当地非常受欢迎的划船俱乐部，走去看看。Hi, nice to meet you, Celia. Come in. 这个赛艇俱乐部成立于一九八九年，是法罗群岛上三大赛艇俱乐部中最年轻也最具活力的。So without further ado, let's start the warm up. Yeah. Cecilia 是其中一支赛艇队的队长
，平时在幼稚园教书，一周六天下班后的时间都和队员们一起练习。这群娘子军每年三月起积极在户外练兵，就为七月国庆日举办的年度夏季大赛。We are a new team. Most of us haven't done it before. It takes a few years to establish like a good team, but it's also fun to be with like the same people all, all the time, and you get like, good connections and make new friendships. Nice. We really enjoy each other's company. That's why we do it. <laughs> Now you're good friends. Yeah, friends for life. Falos Sighting 原本是岛民用来捕鱼的船，在维京船只当中最为轻盈，建造历史可追溯到两千年之前。大学时参加过赛艇校队的孙正，当然要下海挑战这维京时代的赛艇。Thank you so much。哇，我还没有在这种木船上走动的经历。哇，等下翻船怎么办 ？All right, push with your legs and try try to follow her and go go as back as as back far down as possible. Yeah. No. Up there, up there, up there, up there, up there. One. Two, three, four. Do ten more. Oh, it's so tiring. Control your breathing. About fifty strokes more. Oh, small break. Yeah. Okay, stop. Hard. It's tiring, like yeah. especially the core. In the beginning, it's really hard because your core is not used to it. Yeah. But once you get used to it, you get better. It's gonna get easier. 对他们而言轻而易举。我这身老骨头，我感觉要断掉了。这果然是个体力活。尤其是我的腹肌，不复存在的腹肌，突然间我要召唤他们，他们给我玩失踪。我有在河上，还有湖上划过船，但这是我第一次在大海里面划船。拥有几千年历史的法罗式划船技巧，当然不是一天就能练就的。我发现这个传统划船，它的统一性非常非常重要。它基本上中间是没有什么位置的，所以我刚刚划的时候，一直会夹到我的。手心的这块肉是很痛。Oh no! It doesn't happen that often. Yeah. Remember to push it out. If you both don't do it, it's gonna get stuck. 我们到现在划的都是初级水平，然后现在我想尝试一下他们普通，呃，他们通常划船的速度。Okay. When I say now, we go. Ta-da! No. One, two, one. Two. Okay, so okay, okay. I can't. Let's go like just straight on. 吓到我，突然间那个速度那么快。这是第一次，有有个美女把我划船，让我在船上可以享受这么美丽的大自然风景。看。这个才叫一气呵成，他们真的好像在跳舞一样。维京式的魄力就充分展现在这群娘子军那和谐的动作之中。我觉得这里的年轻人除了喜欢运动，然后交朋友，重点也在帮忙捍卫法罗人的文化以及。历史的传承，因为毕竟在世界各地，只有这里有所谓的 f a r o e s rowing。哎，有人在弹钢琴。我本身喜欢用二胡来弹奏其他文化中的一些曲目。
，孙正在绝美的景色里领教维京式的划船方法。哦，我是生老骨头，感觉要断掉了。OK， stop。我每一次去新的国家，就非常期待去看一下他们的超级市场。This is sheep meat that has been hanging for maybe seven, eight, or nine months, air dried. It's the only method we could use before because we did not have any salt. 哇，这边很多奇奇怪怪的肉哎。然后这里有只有在这个区域能够找到的领航鲸，长得有点像一块碳。但其实是一块金鱼的肉。一大清早下着绵绵细雨，你们肯定在想，我为什么来到了荒郊野岭？这是因为我们今天约了当地非常著名餐馆 Russ 的主厨 Gregory。Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. 法国裔加拿大籍厨师 Gregory Goyan 熟悉法罗群岛这好山好水里所蕴藏的许多味蕾惊喜。他曾在法罗群岛的米其林二星级餐馆工作，因此对这里的风干料理产生浓厚兴趣。We have different divers who dive for different kinds of seafood. They very simply drop them all here, so it's it's very much a system that's based purely on trust. 大湖里有许多珍奇海鲜，除了科学家，就只有 Chef Gregory 的餐馆懂得如何欣赏和使用。So these are mahogany clams. They grow up to about 400, 450 years old in the Faroe Islands, and that's because、uh, the, the water temperature is、uh, extremely stable here. They just keep on growing、uh, as much as they possibly can. 这个蛤蜊这么几百年来，呃，法国人都没有吃嘛，所以在海底是有蛮多的。It's like a wild spinach. There's a little bit of、uh, sea lettuce here, which is like a good bite. It's got good texture. So yeah, that's the that's the couple of seaweeds we're going to be using、uh, for 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 today's dishes. 我跟这 Chef Gregory 走的这一趟采摘之旅，其实也象征了法罗人这几百年来面对生态、面对食物的一种理念。他们需要什么，直接就从大自然采摘。大自然是他们最棒的供应商。This is my favorite one here. I, I adore this plant. It's called the sea sandwort. Sea sandwort. Yeah, exactly. And it's、uh, it actually started flowering last week, so you're very lucky. 有点像黄瓜，但它比黄瓜更甜，可能是因为有花瓣嘛。The the ingredients have some form of harmony. Yeah, of course. If they grow together, they're gonna they're gonna taste good together. The third stop, we're actually gonna be foraging in the forest. Yes. 这里大多数的树都是松树。法罗群岛它其实很难有天然的树，这些都是他们一百年前种植的，所以现在形成这个小树林。哇。Makers. Get a bit of a like a peppery flavor almost. 法罗群岛因土壤养分贫瘠，加上夏季气温低，只适合栽种马铃薯和地瓜等根类蔬菜，而且产量十分有限，因此这些野菜对餐馆来说十分珍贵。Chef Gregory 的餐馆位于市中心，是一栋四百年的老房子。餐馆因积极捍卫及发扬法罗美食传统而闻名。去巴之前，我其实有一点点小担心，毕竟他们这边发酵手法跟其他国家是不一样的。I think what is stunning in the Faroese food culture is very much how how bold the flavors are. You understand exactly、uh, what you're eating. You can tell how long it's been fermented. You can tell what part of the animal it is. When you talk about fermentation, your guests have this idea that it's going to be very like rough flavors, heavy, and we kind of balance that out completely by trying to forge stuff that is the most fresh that it could possibly be. 
podcast is about translating to foreign guests how beautiful the fairy food, fairies food culture is, and it's about making fairies people proud of, of their heritage. Is that the last dish? That's the last one. It's a fairies langoustine. There's as good as it gets. It's the best in the world that we have. Just been uh, pan fried and then a little salad of uh, like all the seaweeds and herbs that we went picking for this morning. It's a sauce that we make with the shells of all the langoustines and shells from sea urchin. We mix it with some kimchi. Let's try. The taste of the of the sauce is very strong. That's the natural saltiness of kimchi. The human-made fermentation process, plus the island fish, very perfectly combined. So here you have it's called rastchut, the first one with all the flowers on top. I feel like this small piece of food actually combines the Faroe Islands and the natural resources that can be given to nature. The fresh food is found in the sea. 就在森林里面找到了，构成一幅食物的画，不知道在嘴巴里面到底会是什么样的景色。I'm always afraid of lamb. While the taste is still strong, I think it complements really well. It feels like the lamb is merged with some layer of cheese. But yes, it is quite cheesy almost. Just and that's just the fermentation that does it. It's the only place that you can do this type of fermentation in the world for Ireland. I think this dish is really good. It's great in its taste. The flavor of the dish is very different. Chef Gregory also respects the traditional Faroe traditional technique. He actually told me about the fact that on the last day of his holiday, he will use new dishes. I don't know if anyone says that a city's culture and culture 不难从其音乐基因中挖掘。在托尔斯港口，有一间由渔货工厂改装成的音乐室，是二十五年来法罗群岛爵士乐的摇篮之一。哎，有人在弹钢琴。哎。出生法罗群岛的阿诺，在欧洲及北美爵士乐界享有盛名。近年搬回法罗群岛，致力于推动属于这里的爵士乐。My passion for jazz is very strong. Are there any examples of you know pieces that you compose where the audience can very clearly tell you that sounds fairies? There was one musician. This is a few years back who came up to me after and said that one tune there. That really sounds Faroese. Are you able to play a short snippet of that? You know, either on the piano or the, or, or on the bass. On the bass? Yeah, I can. Shall we? Yeah. Midnight Lullaby. It's in C minor. What if I try and play the chords and whistle the melody? This song is the one that I was born in the early days of the year of the year of the year of the year of the year. I think minor key, like you, you hear it in, in, uh, in the pop music today, can be quite dark. For jazz music, the island of 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 the island. I felt like I was losing the connection with those musicians. That was the main thing. Of course, my family and, and the place itself. This town that I'm born in, I love this town. <laughs> like when I'm in another country, I'm, I can thrive very well, but I always feel I don't belong there. I would always want to come back here anyway. Because <laughs> it's home. Yeah. I mean, it's a very beautiful piece. It's very happy to come here and can sing a song with Arnold. I like to play with other cultures and cultures, because I believe it can be used in this way to help transmit the culture of music. It's so beautiful.
《二胡来啦》，阿诺作曲的一些曲子的时候，会有一点点中华气息融入到了呃当地的音乐的一种非常奇妙的感觉。我相信喜欢音乐的人，如果可以跟当地人一起交流一下，都会是一件让我们心灵上非常满足的事情。Beautiful。除了致力于音乐教学，每年夏天，阿诺更不忘招罗他在音乐界里的好伙伴们，参与二十五年前由他发起的夏季爵士音乐节。每年在不同的新旧搭配中，他尝试让法罗群岛的爵士乐有新的火花。来到这里。一年四季都这么的冷，每天都要饱受大风大雨。可能因为如此吧，这里的音乐它优美，但优美当中也是带了一份凄凉。它阴暗，但阴暗当中也有些许的一些浪漫情怀。Most of it is probably more dark than bright. Like、uh, it's hard to find something that sounds similar to Brazilian or Cuban music. More depressive, some people even say. From his head, I really can feel that he has a very passion for music. 还有秉持着四十二年前的初心，还有热诚的一个人，他的这种执着是有感染力的。You guys are really good just now. We get that from a lot of people. They ask us, "Have you played together for a long time?" We say, "Oh, about forty years." Yeah, that that's very magical. Thank you so much for the night of wonderful music. Thank you. 高米耶，高米耶，高米耶。这样一叫，他的牛啊、羊啊，全部都会被召唤过来。我害怕过去的时候会不会被他们撞飞。孙正品尝了法罗群岛的独特美食，也在悠扬的爵士乐里度过难忘的一晚。今天趁着天气好，他要到法罗群岛一个最重要的小村庄 k i s h i b o 赴一趟历史文化之旅。Johannes， yeah， nice to meet you。Johannes Pedersen 的家族曾世代被丹麦王室钦点管理国王的御用农场。农场于一五三七年归为国家产业，但 Johannes 一家仍旧被当地人称为“国王的农夫”。Scottish Highland cows. Yep. Come here, Ross. Come. Come here. Come here. Come here. 这就是牧羊人的生活。<笑>这样一叫，他的牛啊、羊啊，全部都会被召唤过来。This is a very magical experience for me. You, you literally summon the cows. From the Highland， 这是我第一次看到这个品种的牛。哇，你看他们的脚，我害怕过去的时候会不会被他们撞飞。约翰斯一家六口居住在这座中世纪农舍里，这是法罗群岛最古老的原木屋，也是仅剩的两栋之一。这栋木屋比孙正在托尔斯港看到的还要古老，已经九百年高龄。Yeah, come inside if you want. It's been built within. There are buildings all around it, so it has been, you could say, protected. Because we don't have any forests, it has been built in Norway first. Once the whole building was finished, they marked all the logs and then they took it apart and sailed it across. Wow, that's <laughs> that's unimaginable. Until a hundred years ago, 35 people used this as their kitchen and living room. Or there would have been an open fireplace here, and the smoke going out through the hole in the roof. 如今一切物换星移
，古老房舍不再只是一个历史片段。约翰斯在这里接待来自世界各地的游客和贵宾。There's been everything from a regular tourist group, the Norwegian Queen and King, and the Prince of Monaco has been eating here. Also, we treat everybody the same. We run、uh, tourism, a lot of dinner parties in this room, and my wife does all the cooking. If that wouldn't be enough, then you would have to work something else, because only harvesting from the sheep wouldn't be enough to keep a farm like this. 让我特别意外，就是当地的农业其实不是特别受重视，所以很多像他一样的农夫啊，都要另寻门路来补充这个经济来源。Kind of a library.、Yeah. My my ancestors used this as a library or an office, but also people would sleep in here in the old days. 一五九零年的书，老农舍的顶楼是另一个历史胶囊，记录了中世纪法罗群岛的生活面貌，还收藏了不少曾在这里生活的天主教神父的遗物。十六世纪，欧洲大陆发生宗教改革，法罗群岛跟随丹麦脱离天主教信仰，而跟随基督新教。住在这里的天主教教宗因此遭驱逐，而这座建于十三世纪的哥德式教堂也就此被时间遗忘。The kings confiscated all the values from these bishops, so including this one. It's been for 500 years without the roof on top. And no window, so everything has very much deteriorated. Do you have any fond memories growing up since you lived here your entire life, right? Yeah, of course.、Uh, I was born in 1970, so when we were kids, we were living in a time when you didn't have internet or TV or anything. Actually, this one there was not that many tourists in those days, so we used this one to play football <laughs> or soccer, because otherwise the balls would just go into the sea. That was.、Uh, Good time in those days. Visited the ancient Roman Renaissance buildings, Sun Zheng wants to take you to see a new Renaissance building of the Greek Revival. We are now entering the Golden Gate. The long, 11.2 miles long Golden Gate is one of the most expensive buildings in the Roman Empire. It is worth about 2 billion pounds. 七十年代，岛民靠渡轮往返不同岛屿。后来建设了桥梁，到对面的岛需要开车一个半小时。而现在有了海底隧道，路程只需十一分钟。在这隧道的中央，距离海平面七十二米之处，是全世界第一个，也是唯一一个海底交通圆环。在圆环中间有一个非常大型的艺术品，它出自于法罗群岛国宝级艺术家 t r o n j o Patterson 之手，刻画了当地人手牵着手，一起跳着从中世纪就流传下来的传统圆舞，象征了人与人、岛屿与岛屿、人与大自然之间是多么的惺惺相惜、环环相扣。可能是因为这里的天气阴晴不定，在这里生活唯一的定律就是变化。当地人有一个习惯啊，咱们你看，要立刻关上，为什么呢？因为这个风通常会大到可以把车门吹断。虽然我很冷，但还是要记得耍帅，耶。难得来到景色绝美的群岛，只要云雾散去，太阳稍微露脸，孙正都会抓紧时间到重要景点远足。哎呦哎呦哎呦，这个草地好湿啊！不知道在山顶上看风景会不会有一点不一样呢？啊，这个山坡挺陡的，就快要到山顶了。站在这里，我终于明白为什么无论风险
，那么多人还坚持爬世界的各种山峰。因为站在山顶上往下看，有一种俯视天下的感觉。这里最吸引人的一点是人与大自然之间一种相辅相成的关系。高米，高米，高米。这边的人非常依赖大自然，所以他们也因此学会怎么样去尊重它，怎么样去保护它。来到这里，我发现自己必须放慢步伐，要审视一下我到底是以什么样的心态来面对我们的大自然。